hello guys good morning and welcome to my channel so in today's tutorial i was going to be a very simple and quick one i will be showing you guys how to you how to cover your bra cups with um a masking tape okay method all right so i'm going to begin by wrapping my masking tape around my bra cup very firmly okay whilst also um following the shape of the bra cup i'm just going to um put this around my bra cup in a very firm manner okay so um guys please watch me as i do this so i'm just um uh, wrapping this around it okay so i'll cut this so just wrap it around it like um sculpt it okay sculpt the shape of the bra cup using your masking tape all right so this is a half cup and this method it works for me it's so simple for me too okay so i decided that okay let me show you guys because i'll be using this uh, bra cup for a corset tutorial okay a cup corset tutorial so um i will be putting the link of that corset tutorial in the descriptive box if you care to know just um check in the link and then look up for that tutorial all right so as i said i key i am still like um trying to sculpt the shape of the back up out using my masking tape okay All right, so after like wrapping your masking tape around your bra cup, make sure like you sculpted the shape really well and then press the masking tape against each other so that they will stick together so that when it comes to removing it, you will not have any problem. So I'm just transferring that notch over there because I will be using that notch in my cup corset tutorial. Okay, so after that just you know keep pressing this okay so after that i'm going to mark uh, 1.5 inches from my edge of the bra cup like so because i'm going to be dividing this bra cup into three pieces okay so i'm just going to connect this point with my straight line like you see me doing Okay, and I'm going to connect this to my notched point, okay, to create or to divide my uh, masking tape into three, and I'm going in to, you know, trace out the lines for the sides, because we are not going to be adding any allowance to the side after we cut, okay, I'm just tracing around those lines and so after this just go ahead and keep massaging the masking tape and press it against each other okay so that when you it's time to remove it they will not rip apart okay so after that just trim off the excesses around the edges all right so um now that we are done just uh, try keep pressing this until you are okay and you feel that this has really come together and then slowly remove it like i am doing okay slowly please don't rush make sure your masking tape are stick together nicely okay so after that just slowly remove it like i am doing <laughs> okay so guys you see what we have we have our shape intact okay so i'm just going to cut through the marked point okay because that is what we are going to use to cut our fabric okay so i'm going to cut the mark points mind you we are not going to be adding any allowance to the edges like i said okay so i'm just going into quickly label this that is the m one that means the middle 
and the arrow annotating this going up and also um the side one okay annotating that's the side of my bra cap all right so i'm going to quickly label this as far well as a m2 okay so because that is going to be my middle panel okay and also my side panel so s2 meaning side panel two okay so if i'm joining i'll join the m1 to the m2 and the m the s1 to the s2 okay so just give your arrows so that you don't get confused when you are uh, trying to sew this together okay so i'm just going to give a notch so that i'll know where to piece out to join my pieces together all right so after that i'm just going to cut through this as well so be careful so that your, your masking tape does not rip all right so now that i have this i'm going to grab myself a fresh pattern paper and put my masking tapes on it okay because i'm going to be adding allowances to this okay okay so after doing this just add your half inch allowance or the desired allowance you want except the sides okay so i didn't add to the side i'm just tracing out the sides like that okay yes yeah so um after that just cut your pieces out okay i'm just going to transfer my notches like so okay all right so just uh, cut out all your pieces so you can keep this okay in case you have the same uh, bra size you can use this for any of your bra size all right so i'm going to cut two for my lining and two for my main fabric as well okay so but before that i'm going to label my main fabric so that when i am joining i know which one to join at which uh, side okay so that you don't get confused so you can quickly put your your number tag or your alphabet tag on your fabric just like i am doing okay on all of your patterns and then um so i'm just quickly labeling this like i said so that there won't be any confusion because the patterns really look alike okay so the m1 looks like the uh, s1 and the m2 also look like the s2 okay no doubt about that so all you need to know is you need to know which and uh, where to join them and to know that you just have to label your patterns even on your fabric so you don't get confused okay so i'm just tagging them like that all right so if you have a disappearing marker you can use that okay to write on your fabrics all right so i don't have a disappearing marker that's why i am using my masking tape for this so after i am done with that i'm just going to cut everything out and then i will go straight to our sewing machine to join this together so guys on my machine now i've just added some pattern weights okay some metal weights to this so that it doesn't really shift around so i'm going to be picking them one by one so i don't get confused okay yes yeah, so i'm just going to grab the s1 and then the m1 and i'm going to s2 and m2 sorry and i'm going to join them first okay so using my notch okay i'm just going to match them and then join them so 
so at this point i'm just going to quickly like put you guys on time lapse but still i'm going to go in detail to explain to you guys so after like um you put this together make sure your notches are matching well okay and also carefully join this together okay So after joining the first piece, I'm going to go ahead and then join the second piece as well before I add my my third piece to both of them. So at this point, I just, my thread just ripped, so I just fixed it. And now I am going ahead to continue joining them okay so now that i'm done with the lining okay i'm going to go ahead and grab the pieces okay and i'm going to match them mind you like i said you need to identify your your panels okay for me i did that using my chalk for my lining so i know the m1 matches to the m2 and the s1 matches to the s2 okay so if you do that your life will be really really simple okay so i'm going to join the second piece Pin them like so, and then continue joining by half an inch. <laughs> okay, so now back to the main line, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just picking, okay, I'm just picking them one by one. So now I'm just going to pin them okay to make my life easy i'm just pinning all of them down so i pin the first one and this is the second one that i'm about to sew so just grab the second one too and then so so after you're done just you know pick and then match your patterns and then sew them okay so if you number them okay it makes your life really easy so for the straight one you can just number one side so that you just match it to the side you are supposed to okay so you don't get confused all right so guys yes we are done with joining our bra cups and now i'm going to join the two together okay right sides facing each other the lining and the main piece together right side facing each other you can choose to join the lining and the bra cup later that is after you are finished with the dress you join the main lining to the main lining of the dress and the main fabric to the main fabric of the dress okay so when we get to the tutorial you guys will understand so after flipping it over and top stitching okay i went ahead to open my seams and do some ironing Okay, so now that this is done, I'm going to show you how to wrap this around. So just uh, wrap it around your bra cap like I've done for the other one. Okay, just wrap it around and then pin. Okay.
okay guys so for the lining okay fix it in such a way that there will be space inside so that your breast can like actually feel free inside okay so just make sure that the lining is aligning to the edge of the back cup okay and then pull pull the lining inside so that it doesn't show outside okay pull it inside so just like i am doing i'm just i'm pulling this so that it, they, it sits well okay inside and create space inside for the breast okay Okay, so guys, after this, you can just go ahead and use your thread and needle to hold all the sides down, okay, for, to the lining, to the main fabric, okay, you can just hold it down, or you just join the uh, lining separately, and also the bra cap separately, okay, so after you are done, you now come to the neck, the like necklines and then you flip the bra cap over with the lining material okay so when we are sewing i'll show you what i mean by that so now this is it this is how it looks all right so guys this is how to neatly add your fabric to your half caps okay so if you like this tutorial please don't forget to subscribe to the channel hit on that like button and also comment your opinions down below okay so thank you guys for watching i'm going to see you in the corset tutorial okay so i have a cup corset tutorial coming on make sure you turn on the bell notification so you don't miss it okay.